Yes, it's coming very fine. Excellent. Yes. So actually, this is the this is the the fourth letter that we've learned in our review of the Hebrew alphabet. It's called Gimel. Can you say that? Repeat that. Gimel. Right. Narudia Gimel. Gimel. And we can also excellence. Um, nzuri, nzuri. Now we can add our vowels, as you recall. The vowels go on the bottom of the letter or on the top. The first one is Ga. Ga. Gu. Gu. Go. Go. Gay. Gay. And gi. Gi. Very good. Now, we've learned four Hebrew letters along with vowel combinations. Yes. We can first practice with the gimel, the various consonant vowel combinations that we have learned. I'll get us started and then you should be able to go on your own. By the way, Joseph, are you able to see this large cursor very well? Yes, I'm able to see. Good. Okay, this first line is ga. Ga. Gay. Gay. Ga. This is gi. 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 Very good. You remember very well. Let's try the next line. Starts with gu. Gu. Gi. Gu. Ga. You're a natural at Hebrew. You're a natural Hebrew student. Do you recall the first the first combination? Yes. Okay. Gu. No, it's actually go. Go. Ga. Go. Gu. Perfect. Let's try the next line. Gi. This is actually gay with two dots below. Gay. Gu. Good. Gay. Yes. Go. Excellent. Next. Gay. Actually, one dot below is gi. Gi. Oh, the two dots means uh, go, uh, go then the... The two dots together is gay and the one dot and, and the one dot is gi. Yes. Gi, mm -hmm. gi, go. Nice. Gi. Nice. Gi. Wonderful. We've now covered four letters. The four letters we've covered are the Aleph, you may recall. Aleph, Bet. Yeah. Yes. Bet. And. Uh, Correct. The Gimor. Right. So now we're going to identify the, the, the letters using this this uh this particular drill we'll yes. start with line two are you are you seeing the arrow the blue arrow yes i'm able to get to see the mouse pointer great yes great so let's let's bomb through these drills aleph aleph bet vet Gimo. Is it nice? 
Is it Gimo? Ah, uh, Gimo. Yes. Yeah. Gimo. Aleph. Nice. Continue. Gimo. Bet. Aleph. Bet. Nice. Bet. Gimo. Nice. Continue. Vet. Gimol. Gimol. Aleph. Bet. Vet. Continue. Bet. Aleph. Gimel. Bet. Vet. Gimel. Nice. Next. <coughs> Gimel. Bet. Gimel. Vet. Bet. Aleph. Very good. In our presentation every class, we try and bring in some sort of a lesson or some pieces from scripture or from the Jewish tradition as a way to enjoy an application of our Hebrew. Yes. There's one letter that we have not learned called Lamed, which will be part of our lesson, our, our spiritual lesson presentation. This is the Lamed, yes. and the Lamed combines as La, Lu, Lo, Le, and Li. And you'll see in the next page that we have the letters above Lamed and Vet, and these will be the letters that um, we use for our, our little teaching, okay? Yes. We just celebrated in the Jewish calendar the holiday called Sukkot. In, yes. in the Kenya Messianic community, it's known as the Tabernacles Feast. Have you heard of it? Yes, I, I, I am one of the feast attenders. Oh, very nice. I had a, I thought so, right. Yes. <clears throat> so one of the customs during the, the Jewish celebration of the Tabernacle Feast is we take a palm branch and we shake it out and say blessings with this palm branch. Yes. And the Hebrew word for, for palm branch is lulav. Can you say lulav? Lulav. Very nice. That's... That's the longest word that you've ever said in Hebrew. Shehere, sherehe, sherehe. Asante. So that's a, that's a beautiful word. Lulav means palm branch. Yes, lulav. But we, we can also break this, this down into two parts. As you can see, I've broken it into one, two parts. Yes. And we out, and we actually not only break it into two parts, yes. but we create we create new meanings yes. for each part. The yes. first the first part, the lu, we change to lo. Yes. And in Hebrew, lo means for him. Yes. And you could say specifically for him. For him. For him. Yeah. The next word comes from the second part, the Lamed Vet. We have Lamed Vet here, but we say Lev, which means a heart. Lev, a heart. Lev, a heart. So you could say... Yes. ...that the Lulav... Yes. ...or the palm branch... Yes. ...represents that we have a heart yes. for him. And, and who is him? 
but it's it's our Father in heaven. Yes. So if you have a dream tonight, Joseph, and you dream of a palm branch in your dream, yes, it is a sign that for him is a heart for his Father in heaven. So, so if you dream of a palm branch, Joseph, you have a heart for your Father in heaven. Yes. The rabbis taught us to find a favorable interpretation for our dream, yes. lest an unfavorable one find us first. Yes. Here the rabbis break down the word lulav into lev and lo, a heart for him. Let us find both in our dreams and wakings the signs that draw us closer to our Father in heaven. I will exit out of sharing now yes. and we'll join each other back together for the, 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 the culmination of our, of our meeting. Yes. I'm still curious, uh, Joseph, how will we um, help our followers who want the premium portion? How will we arrange that for our followers? The followers. I think we can uh, organize with them so that they can tell us if they will be available from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. so that we can schedule a uh, a daily class of one hour with them and uh, I think that, that way it will work best. I've uh, tried to talk with some and they say that they will try to follow us uh, with the free version for some time and see uh, if they will develop an interest in it. But uh, so far, I have seen most of uh, them will uh, gain interest and they will start, uh, mm -hmm. will start uh, asking to join the private meeting. Right. Yes. I recall from a previous meeting that you did a split screen where both of us were on the screen equally as if we were next to one another. Yes. having our interview yes and mike that's what i'm curious to try again if we can create that split screen effect so it's both of us sharing the screen equally yes you, uh, you pin you pin you pin yourself and then you pin me you pin two things uh, two pictures at one at once how, so how what do i do is Go to the ah. go to the participants and pin. I, I think I yeah. Yes, exactly. I think I okay, you got it. This is what I'm so it's on my end as the administrator. Yes. Okay. All right. Very nice. I've also done so in my end. I see. Okay. Yes. yes. So I, I think it will always be nice when we start the class, we'll start with this tiled effect so that it's, it's uh, the two of us sharing equal space, having our conversation basically. Yes. And then we can also finish with this format. So, so now that we're here, yes. um, maybe it would be, um interesting to uh ask you if you if you got the lesson today the spiritual lesson if 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 you got anything from that if you understood something from it maybe as my first student i'm giving you a, a little test a little pop quiz today yes. did you get anything from the lesson about the lulav yes <laughs> okay I've, uh, I've, I've understand uh, that uh, the the lulaf the letter lulaf can uh, can be uh, divided into two the law 
and the the law the law to means to him and the right the love to means uh, to me. a heart right yes uh, so the and uh the two the two the two combination has a relationship with a palm and that means uh, from the the lesson is that when someone dream of a palm uh, he has he, he is more closer to 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 him uh, to our father in heaven Isuri sana A plus thank you you are now now graduated to level 2 <laughs> yes thank you